This is going to be a quick video where we're gonna have a look at wake effects. So we're gonna look at this configuration here and we're gonna have a quick look at how this wind turbine here in the center is affected by the wake of this wind turbine. Just to make it clear, the, the wake effects are not computed by ashes. So what we've done here is use a software called Diwa. Diwa is a wake software under development um, by Synthef Ocean. So if you want to give it a try, you can get in touch with them. I'll put a link in the description. But what it does essentially is that it produces a, a wind file that contains the effect of this wind turbine. So we can input it into this, uh, this wind turbine and see what the effect of, of the wake is. So what we're looking at now is, on the left is the wind turbine if there was no wake considered, so if the wind turbine was by itself with no other wind turbine in front. And on the right is that wind turbine, but considering the wake effect, so with, with the wind turbine in the front. And the first thing that's kind of cool to see is, uh, you know, obviously the, the turbulent wind field on the, on the right is, um, has lower wind velocities than on the left, but you can still see some of the patterns, right? I mean, you can see that there's some, uh, some uh, low, air, low wind speed areas, for example, here. And you can see that there's some, some higher wind speed areas, for example, on, uh, on here, on, the, on this side here in the middle. Um, so you can recognize you can recognize the, the wind pattern even though in one case it is affected by the, the wake of the wind turbine and, and the other it is not. It's also very interesting to see that the wind speed is well it's it's much lower on the on the right hand sides, obviously because the because the wind turbine is being affected by the by the wake of the upstream wind turbine. And you can see that on the on the wind graph on the wind velocity graph and you can also see it on the on the power right so here you can see that you know, on the left we're most of the time producing a rated power or a rated power and on the right we're not we're uh, we're quite below rated power and uh, yeah the last thing that you can see is that the the loads so here we're just looking at uh, at um, loads at the bottom of the tower at bending moments and you can see that the loads are lower for the for the wind turbine that's that's in the wake than the other one. So yeah, I mean this was a really brief video, but just uh, it's just cool to see the to visualize the the wind differences between the between the wake and the no wake case. So yeah, I hope uh, hope you liked it and see you around.